All right, thank you very much for clicking on the video. Uh, this is Gullpain, just back again with a quick high score challenge. And this game is Gradius 2, which is very, very similar to uh, a game that we played not so long ago. Maybe it was Gradius when we played, because I remember the very start of the game, uh, this this uh, shooter game, where those little circular fellas come out straight away in like lines. And then it's, it's very, very similar, but then it gets uh, very different. Uh, once you get to like the middle of the first, the middle of, well not the middle of the first stage, the start of the first stage. Once these giant salamander dragon things are coming out and then it gets like super difficult. Uh, so this took me um, the whole day playing this, trying to get past the first stage. And I got past the first stage. And then once I got past the first stage, I said, right, that's it. <laughs> so basically I played it until I, until I beat the first stage. Which took me hours and hours and hours. Because this is one, this is one tough mother. This is one tough son of a bitch. Uh, basically what you have to do is you have to get the power-ups and then they fill your gauge at the bottom and then you push a, a select button and it selects the like the speed or the, the missile or the double it's really annoying actually because the missile is a separate button so you got to press two buttons to fire which I found very not very good uh, so I didn't bother even getting the missile or the double I just went straight for the this thing the red thing whatever it's called the pulse or the laser and uh, just try and get that and then try and get as many options as possible and then a shield which I believe I did once <laughs> and then I got killed because this is one of those games where if you lose all your weapons that's it forget about it there's a couple which aren't like that uh, where you can still get fairly far if you don't have the you know the power-ups but this is really difficult with um without power-ups those dragons are hard enough to ki hard enough to kill with the with the power-up uh, weapon let alone like with the normal pea shooter that you start off with but yeah, pretty uh, good game, but really frustrating, but very addictive actually, because I was I was getting very frustrated with it, you know, to the point of slapping the hand on the couch here, uh, levels of frustration. But um, I did stick with it until I got past the first stage, so at, le at least I did that anyway. That should be good enough for a, a nice a nice last position in the old uh, high score challenge, as I normally I normally get last. Well, I've been getting second last at the moment, so I'm getting slightly better. So yeah, once I figured out how to actually kill those dragons, and then sometimes those are the worst guys in the in well that I've experienced. Those um kind of homing ships, they just follow you around, really really annoying. So this was the only time I bet this boss, and uh, at the second stage I had no clue what I was doing. So spoiler alert: the boss does go down, and it's a pretty cool looking boss as well. So I can imagine if uh people were in the arcade and they saw, you know, it's a very detailed detailed sprite and all that. So it's pretty pretty cool looking. The bosses in these games are always real funny looking. They're always like kind of um, like insects and all that. And I don't know, it's very strange. So this guy goes down. He's not too bad. Unfortunately, I hit his head off. Oh, well, it looks like a phoenix anyway, so it'll probably rise from the dead. I did get a free life there as well. Now I have no idea what I'm doing because I didn't actually um, practice uh, stage two at all because it was just stage one. So this is just kind of whatever happens, happens. And this this was going to be my last run because it's the only time I, I finished the first stage. So once I got past the, the high score, which I think was 5-8-1 or something, I was like, right, that's it. That's that's enough for me. I'll leave uh, Big Joffer and the rest of the, the shooter more professionals. I'll leave them uh, kind of, you know, finish it. Now this is cool here. Now this looks like um, R-Type here. I think it's R-Type anyway. There's R-Type and this is Gradius. And then there's Salamander, and then there's a really cool one. What is it? Um, Lords of Thunder or something like that. It's on the. What's that? Um, what's that one with the CD and it has Castlevania on it? And the music is just fantastic. If I didn't have the shield here, I'd be dead ten times over. It's on the, TurboGrafx sixteen or TurboGrafx sixteen CD, Lords of Thunder. The music is, it's so good. It's fantastic. So this here, if you don't have those, I think I've got the maximum options as well. And I don't know if you can kill those. Here's the here's the insect thing happening now because, and then you've got, it's really fun down here. Then you've got like the, how am I supposed to get that? Then you've got the, like, the xenomorph, some alien is down here as well. Now this is where it gets ridiculous, where it's just, there's so much happening on the screen. It's like, it's very difficult to, um, to avoid stuff, but I'm doing fairly well here. Now, just as I said it, good night. So again, yeah, then you're down to the pea shooter and forget about it. Very, very difficult. 
but the Xenomorphs are coming out in a second. <laughs> These games, they don't care who they copy. Just like, um, what's that one on the Nintendo that has the aliens on it? I can't remember what it's called now. It's a very famous game. And I just, it's just, uh, the name escapes me. Contra. That's it, yeah. That has the complete copy of aliens. Here they're going to come out here in a second. God, they really make it difficult to get those, um, like face suckers. Not the xenomorphs, they're like face suckers, I think, and yeah. Yeah, they're face suckers. They're so hard to. Again, if I had the power up, I think it would be fine, and I really need to start using the missile there, I think. Uh, because the missile drops and hits the, the guys on the ground and the guys above. So, yeah, I really need to uh, start pushing both buttons at the same time, but it is really annoying to push both buttons at the same time. Don't know why they did it that way. I think the other games you just push, you push the fire button and the missile comes out automatically. You don't have to actually, you know, like push an extra button. I don't see the, I don't see the point of that. Oh well. So very low score. Normally the score and this boss here, I mean, look at the amount of bullets that come out. This is so difficult. I mean, if I had that um spread thing, the the laser, whatever it's called, that would this would be fine. This would be absolutely. Not very difficult at all, but unfortunately I didn't. So how many? I don't think I even hit the boss. I think you have to hit the eye. Did I even hit it once? I didn't even hit it once. Oh well. Right, so 798. I'll take that. Age 0. Newborn baby and male. And I'll just type in the old initials. So thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you in the next High Score Challenge. Adios.